I'm beautiful and lovely gamers. My name is Jonal, your favorite Battlefield 242 addict here. And I want to talk about something that for me was like, who the flying fuck designed this? It is not intuitive at all. And that is how to use Sundance's glider. Sundance is the most fun, strongest, just absolute best operator in the game. No shot you, you're convincing me of anything else. But her glider is the most, it's the reason that she's so powerful, right? I talked about this, a link uh, to that video in the description. She's insane, but in my opinion, not intuitive to use. And that's what I want to talk about. How to use her, how to quick deploy, how to properly control her glider, how to be able to do perfect combat rolls when you kind of glide in and land. And if you want to know the use of like quick deploying and combat rolls and how to use her, again, the video of how to dominate with her is linked in the description or on the channel. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, bro, help out a starving YouTuber here. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content. Tell me down in the comment section, who is your favorite operator? And do you agree armor is fucking bullshit in this game? And besides that, I love you guys very, very much. Please take care of yourselves positive, And I'll catch you in the next one. Let's talk about Sundance and how to use her GWA2 glider. It is, in my opinion, the strongest operator in the game. There's a video on how you can abuse her uh, and, and how to play her properly. But this is just going to be how to control her glider. And how to actually actually do it uh, do it properly? Because in the beginning, like the first couple of times I glided, it was like, what the fuck is these controls? No clue how to actually use her. But after playing her, I, I really only play her. I play a couple of, of the other operators from time to time. But like, you know, it, when you play Sundance, you don't go and play the others afterwards. She's so much fun. So how to use a glider properly? That's what we're gonna talk about. Essentially, you have two main controls. You have your uh, thrust and you have your brake. So you have on keyboard that would be your W and your S key. On control on console it's probably your forward and backwards key, uh, or stick movement or whatever you want to call it. So when you hold your forward button, you will uh, start collapsing your wingsuit and you will just get a lot of speed. And when you hold your uh, backwards key, your S key in my case, you will just extend the flaps of your wingsuit, which will logically do a couple things. One, it will give you drag, so you will pull yourself up. And two, it will allow you to actually control her properly. If you don't hit any of the keys, she's just kind of like in an in-between state where she's trying to glide straight as straightforward as she can, of course, dropping altitude, but as straightforward as she can, but not going, not increasing speed a lot and not uh, decreasing speed a lot. So what you normally want to do at, as level one, if you are gonna to use her like at a high place, just jump out, you deploy your wingsuit, and you just hold your downwards key and you just get a lot of velocity and then you start pulling up and then you take that speed wherever you want to go if you want to go further of course you do down then you pull up so so forward up forward up or w s w s w s or whatever you want or on the stick forward back forward back forward back that way you kind of like dive in waves and you move at a decent speed while still kind of maintaining some of that altitude if you are and this is the most important one. Like, if you want to get good with Sundance, you got to be able to do quick deployments. And quick deployments is what it sounds like. It is where you, like, barely have any any time to pull off from the gun. Like, you are at the minimum height of being allowed to deploy your glider. And again, the thing with her glider is that when she deploys it, she gets a burst of speed. If you jump off out of a plane that always have a lot of, a lot of speed, you will a lot of time keep that speed. But if you're like just jumping off a building or off a tiny rock or, you know, really anything that's just a little bit over uh, the ground and you deploy it properly, you get a movement speed. That's why you can like jump. If you have a, if there's a container or a rooftop at the same height as you, because you get a little bit of a boost in speed, you can glide, like you can gain elevation by just doing a short jump. So what you want to do is as you kind of, you know, you jump and you uh, you, you mash your jump key and in, in it's spacebar on keyboard, right? So you mash your jump key to deploy the suit and then you just hold down your backward, your backwards movement key. So S on keyboard. And that way you kind of uh, immediately start getting drag. And that's what you need because when you have no, no space, you barely have any space, you barely any margin before you're going to crash into the ground. You want to take the movement that you got from the initial deployment of the of the suit and just pull up immediately and you will pull up and then you will keep that momentum by of course just like flattening it out using your forward momentum key to kind of keep that momentum and gliding and it's really powerful if you're like in a hill if you're in a hill and you see a rock 
you run to the rock you jump off the rock you immediately pull up so you don't hit the ground and then of course you now it's in the middle of the air so the further you glide the more space the more ground you will remove under you so the longer you can actually dive and the faster speed you can actually accumulate and that's how you want to initially move on your quick deploy just jump off the just jump off whatever rock and hold your uh, and hold your kind of your drag key your 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 backwards movement key to get that elevation above the ground now if you're gonna try to maneuver her so for example you're maneuvering her through a you know you off a tornado or you jumped out of the plane but you want to go the other way at that point you want to keep every time you want to move properly you can't uh, you can't do any barely you do barely any movement if you are holding a w if you're diving and you're holding a w key your forward key um you're not going to be able to control her at all uh, if you are just gliding not touching any keys you've got to be able to maneuver a little bit but it's very 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 little if you want to like do like big turns and you actually want to maneuver her properly and you want to maybe do some zigzags and you know whatever you, you need to do you hold your uh, your brake key your backwards movement key and then you start maneuvering because as she deploys her suit she's allowed to take control over it just be aware of the fact that you will need to sometimes let go to not lose momentum because you don't want to lose momentum the more momentum you lose the more it's gonna hurt you later uh, and, and what's also really really important is when you're gonna land if you're gonna dive as you're diving a sniper i'm talking more about this in my you know how to actually how overpowered she is and what you can do with her if you're diving a sniper for example which is really op you want to hit the ground almost at like a, a flat angle like almost like you want to just like glide onto it because if you do that she will do like a combat roll and you won't be you don't take any damage and you won't get staggered and you can do it at like most speeds you kind of want to come in as a plane imagine that you're playing your wheels you want to fly in and land like that and that way you can kind of quickly roll onto your back and immediately your rifle is ready and good to go so the quick lessons of her is you want to maneuver you hold the brake key you want to get more altitude like for example you're quick deploying you want to hold your brake key your s key on keyboard your backwards movement stick on console most likely you want to use that to quickly gain control get elevation and that's really important for either maneuvering or when you're quick deploying um when you're quick deploying uh, your your shoot when you're doing a short jump or if you are trying to get onto a rooftop at the same elevation you jump off the rooftop and you hit the s key uh, or your brake key and you will just gain elevation and be allowed to kind of fly up to that that small elevation you want to get speed you hold down that that forward button that acceleration button your w key you won't be allowed to control anything you barely can move but you will get a lot of speed and then you can pull up with that speed uh, and use that to your advantage and that's how you want to use her and she's so so powerful go and check out the video i'll link to it in the description uh, or check out the channel how to actually use her the scenarios that you can that you can play with her sundance is the most fun operator i'll talk a little bit about the load that you should run with her she's the most fun operator and she's so overpowered the amount of multi kills i'm getting with her is crazy so i hope you like this type if you like battlefield 2042 content bro subscribe to the channel is greatly greatly appreciated thank you guys liking the video even more helps of course sharing and stuff like that tell me who's your favorite operator uh in the game and were you also confused like the first like four times i was deploying with sundance i had no clue how to control her parachute or her glider i i was just like panicking and crashing into the ground every time uh, is it me or is she like she's kind of hard to like she's not like intuitive it's not intuitive how you use it. you have to like try and test and try and test until you like get something out because she's not like intuitive how you use her uh, in my opinion but she's the most fun in my opinion so i, ho I hope you like this kind of stuff bro uh, if you do uh, i hope uh, that you take care of yourself remember somebody uh, that to tell somebody that you love them and as always guys keep the enemy your crosshair <laughs>